This, my friends, is the all-new 2023 BMW i7 xDrive 60. It is, of course, a 7 Series BMW. However, it is the all-electric version. If you want a gas-powered 7 Series, you can get one just like this for exactly the same price, but with a V8 under the hood. This one starts at 147,000 Canadian dollars, which is what the 760i xDrive would cost. But this one as tested right here, it is $194,500 before taxes. So obviously this car is not for everyone, but if you think that $200,000 is peanuts or pocket change, or you can afford the lease payment, well, I fully understand why you do it, because this thing is ultimately comfortable and the features are just mind blowing. So if you belong to that extremely low percentage of people that can actually afford one of these, well, keep watching this video. Even if you're not though, it's pretty interesting. Under the hood or floor or whatever it is, it has two electric motors that are fifth generation BMW E-Drive. Both of them together produce 536 horsepower and 549 pound-feet of torque. So you can expect this thing to be pretty darn quick despite it weighing a nerve-wracking 2.6 tons. Zero to 100 kilometers an hour comes in 4.6 seconds with launch control. It has a pretty big battery pack with a capacity of 101.7 kilowatt hours and fully charged, you can expect it to travel easily over 400 kilometers. That's in the real world because it's rated at 512 in theory. So with that big battery pack, you can expect a full charge at home to take at least 10 hours. There are plenty of extremely cool things about this car. The first one is when you approach it, you press this button on the door, you move out of the way and the door opens automatically for you. Then you sit your butt inside. And if you're driving, you just press the brake pedal and then voila, the door closes. The doors even have sensors. So if there's an obstacle nearby, it won't hit the obstacle. But of course you were expecting that, right? Like, come on, how could it not have sensors? Pfft. Then there are the ambient lights. A lot of cars do fancy lights nowadays, but this one, this one takes it to a whole new level. Behind this trim over here, it almost feels like there's an LCD panel going all across and this lighting, you can change colors, but it also reacts to the various functions that you do. The dashboard design is extremely clean. Look at these air vents, they're well hidden. You can't even see them. You only get this little knob to control them. And then there's these seats, like, oh my God. They feel like chiropractic made seats. Like they distribute the, the load to every inch of your body. It's like the perfect seat and they're so adjustable. They also offer a very good massage. And of course they're heated and ventilated. And so are various panels around the car including the doors, the armrests, and of course the steering wheel. The instrument cluster is amazing and has customizable content, including augmented reality. The heads up display is massive and very impressive. And the center screen is home to the latest BMW iDrive infotainment system, which has a billion things you can do with it. You can even watch YouTube now, of course, when you're stopped and waiting for something. It has a built-in dash camera. You can even take some silly photos of the interior with the inside camera. Or when you're in reverse, you can pre-record a path you would like the car to then replay for you. It's pretty freaking cool. The rear seats are equal to the front seats, only the one on the right, look at this, it goes into chaise mode. When in chaise mode, I am 5'11", and I am so comfortable back here. Like honestly, I just wanna fall asleep with this amazingly soft pillow and everything. Or if I'm not sleepy, I can fold down this massive 31 inch theater screen and watch a movie or myself maybe needless to say the rear seat will be the place that the actual owner would like to spend some time from time to time and totally love every dollar he spent on this car at the press of a button as we said a theater screen can fall down and it's 31 inches across an 8k resolution with a ratio of 32 by 9 that means that you basically have two widescreen 4K monitors side by side, and that gives you a lot of flexibility because look, you can like move the screen across if you're sitting on one side, or you can change the ratio, but then you lose content up and down. But nevertheless, it's pretty cool. And you can use either the built-in fire stick, or you can plug in something into the HDMI port. Of course, when you're watching content, you can still use the mind blowing audio system, or you can pair it to headphones if you want to hear in privacy. You control all these features using the 5.5 inch display, 
that's built into the doors. Both the doors have that. And through that display, you can also control other things like your seat comfort, features of the car, the blinds, your massage, whatever. At night, if you leave the sunroof blind open, you'll enjoy some very cool lights that complement the rest of the ambient lighting theme very well. The Bowers & Wilkins sound system is just mind-blowing. It sounds as good as the speakers look behind these grills when they're lit up. Everything about the sound system is beautiful. The augmented reality camera works very well. So does the backup camera. And I love the resolutions for both. They're like extremely high res. The climate menu is more than comprehensive. It includes everything you would ever need to adjust. And once again, surprisingly, there's some panels like over here that also heat up. And on the side, it's like, it's really cool. Roominess is overall amazing. Again, it's something you would expect in this class, but sometimes you'd expect it, but you don't get it, like with the Mercedes EQS or the Genesis G80. The trunk opens automatically at a push of a button and the capacity is 500 liters, which isn't incredibly huge, but it's totally adequate. Now, looks wise, the front of the car, I guess, is not everybody's cup of tea, but everybody that's complained doesn't really belong to the target group of this vehicle. People that could actually afford one and would like to buy one, like it. I don't dislike it. In the pictures, I didn't like it at all, but in person, it looks a lot better than I thought. And let me tell you this, this two-tone color scheme is worth $12,000. Yes, that's correct. You heard me right, $12,000. But the result, I have to say, it looks imposing to say the least. The side profile is less daring and thus accepted by a broader audience. And the rear end is totally BMW 7 Series. It's good looking and in a way it's the rear end this car deserves. Inside, the style looks like a spaceship, and rightfully so, because it is kind of a spaceship. The EQS might look more impressive with the more screens and whatever, but can I tell you, with this lighting and the way everything has been combined inside this car, I think it takes the cake. The quality of the materials is impeccable, fit and finish is great, overall craftsmanship is impressive. This one just scores top points. Being inside this i7, honestly, it's like a magical experience. And that's when you're a passenger. When you move into the driver's seat, you really figure out that that magic is even more than you thought because engineering wise, this car is as good as it is on the surface. Once the car starts moving, you realize that the engineers have done a fantastic job because you can feel all their great work or actually you can't feel anything, which means that they did their job very well. Performance-wise, this very heavy vehicle feels like a bullet thanks to its immense power, but at the same time, it's incredibly easy to drive. The steering feels fantastic, even in comfort mode, and with the four-wheel steering, it's very easy to maneuver around tight areas. At higher speeds, which come very easily thanks to the blistering performance it offers, the car showcases incredible levels of stability. Very few have experienced something like this before. It's extremely quiet, ultra smooth. It feels like a magic carpet for real. The suspension tuning is an engineering miracle. As over bumps, you barely feel anything, even on patches of road, which I know are really rough. This car just flew over everything, upsetting the passengers as little as possible. And at the same time, when you're taking corners, the body is controlled very well, meaning that lean is negligible and outright grip is mind blowing. At the limit, it still remains very neutral and progressive, but honestly, I don't see a lot of use cases for that kind of driving in here. However, being a BMW, it will not disappoint on that front either. The suspension has air ride on both axles. It has electronically controlled dampers, double wishbone front suspension, multi-link rear, and overall, it's one of the best suspension setups I've ever experienced in my life. The competition is a very difficult topic to discuss because a lot of people that I showed this car to immediately switched to EV mode. So they said, oh, how does it compare against the Tesla Model S? Well, I don't think it's a fair comparison to even think that this has anything to do with the Tesla Model S because this is a BMW 7 Series. It's just an electric version of it. So the competition remains. Mercedes S-Class or Maybach, whatever. It remains the Audi A8. Cadillac CT6, which unfortunately I think they don't make anymore. So it's big limo vehicles that it competes against. And it just, it's an option to go electric with one of them, which I think is a great option. 
I have to say, we drove a Maybach very recently and an S-Class and everything. Um, sorry guys, but this one just upped the ante. And I'm really happy to see that it's such a good electric vehicle, even though it's the first one in the segment to come out. Okay, maybe the EQS came out first, but the EQS is an, it's an exclusive electric platform. This one is a shared platform with a gas version as well. It is much better than the EQS. It's a better drive. It's implemented overall better. The driving assistance, it can drive for you for up to 130 kilometers an hour. It does it very well. The EQS wasn't that good in terms of technology. Like there were glitches. This one is perfectly done. I would have to say that overall, I would give it a 9.5 out of 10. There's just one thing that I don't like about it at all, which I think is a very big problem actually. And I can't believe that BMW let this happen. But the problem is this, when this theater screen is folded down, you can't see anything behind you, okay? Like the rear view mirror is completely blocked. So at that point, I'm like, ah, oh, no problem. I was looking for the button to make it a camera so I can have like a digital rear view mirror. And it's not here and it's not an option. So BMW, you're telling us that when the theater screen is down, which my kids have down all the freaking time, um, I'm going to be unable to see behind me with no alternative. That sucks. But other than that, everything is amazing. I'm pretty sure that they're going to fix that because the camera is like right there. It's on the fish antenna thing. It's, it's right there. It's very easy to fix. So just, just do it up, okay? Other than that, honestly, if you're one of the people that work hard, make tons of money, and you need a vehicle like a 7 Series BMW. Honestly, the i7 is a great vehicle. The range is good enough. And when these kind of vehicles become electric, honestly, the absence of a actual engine that makes noise makes these cars shine to the umpteenth degree. But if you want some noise, you still have Hans Zimmer here playing the clarinet inside the dashboard. So it's all good. You do get some sound. That's pretty much it with the 2023 no bump BMW i7 X Drive 60. The really, really quick car that controls the body very well. Even if you chuck it in a corner, you would never know that this thing is a tank. It's fantastic. So that's pretty much it with the 2023 BMW i7 X Drive 60. Whee! If you like this video, please remember to share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, till next time, be well. Bye-bye. Perfect.